Hello my friends, in our last video, we made a text query function, but in this video, we are going to make event query function. So it will be really similar to text query. So I think we can do rather fast this time. So come back to our text editor. So first I'm going to copy the text query and then I put it in here. I change this name into the event curry. There will be only some things we need to change. So this needs to be event curry variables and put this one in here. And this text uh, has to be the event. So we need to put that event in here. So uh, and actually, we also need to delete all of this part uh, because the, when we have this text query, first we need to type something in here and then we will get the response back from the dialog flow. But for the event query, without texting something in here, we can get the response back. So that's why we don't need to have this part so the thing we only need to take care of is the message the chapter send in here ah this one is the text query so <laughs> i need to delete this part yeah this part and this endpoint name also needs to be changed into event query so i need to define this conversation in here and here too so this is all for this event query so it was really fast because we did everything when we did the text query but there is one question in here for the text query uh, when we type something in here we can trigger this text query because inside this uh, key press handlers when we just click this enter we can trigger this text query. But for this event query, we don't have the place to trigger this event query yet. So we made one intent that include that event. So inside the dialog flow before, if we come in here, last time we made the intent named welcome. Inside in this intent, so we made the event named welcome to my website. So when we trigger this event, we will get the response back with this text. Greetings, how can I assist? So we want to trigger this event uh, with this event query function. So we want to trigger this one whenever we just go inside our website like this. So to do that, we will use the use effect. This comes from the React. So we need to bring this one from the React uh, library. So what this does is when we just start our page, this DOM is loaded. We are going to trigger anything in here. So if we put this one event query in here, and then inside the event query, we give the argument, uh, argument this one, welcome to my website, like this. We can trigger this event. So we will see whether we are going to get this response back or not. So we have uh, this uh, console log. So uh, first, I need to turn on. Oh, I already turned on my server. Uh, we go to our application and I'm going to refresh the page. So, see this. Okay, we got the right response back. Greeting, how can I assist in here? This one comes from the here. Greeting, how can I assist? So, thank you for watching this video. And in our next video, I think we are going to uh, show our messages in here like this. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you.